Hello, thanks for coming. Um, did you enjoy your lunch? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to present Scatching with Hands, a 3D sketching handheld products with first person hand posture. It's done by me and Seok Kyung Bae. So in this morning, I woke up, brushed my teeth, took a shower, dried my hair, shaved, ate breakfast, drank coffee, watched TV, checked emails, wrote memos, opened the door. So we live surrounded by a lot of graspable products, right? Such products should be designed carefully to be grabbed and used by our hands. So let's think about if we are product designers, how can we design them? In fact, when sketching handheld product ideas, many textbooks recommend designers to draw hands together with the products. By doing so, designers can consider the scale of the products and the usages of the products. However, many designers are reluctant to draw hands with their sketches. Without drawing hands, final products might be out of scale or unusable. So, what's the reason designers don't draw hands? First, hands are difficult to draw because of their complex shapes and structures. Secondly, it's easy to recognize any mistake on hands because we are so familiar with how hands look like. We can find this hand looks weird and it's hard to focus on the product. Lastly, Product designers tend to think drawing hands is a waste of time because they want to keep exploring product ideas. So to solve these problems, we wanted to help designers to sketch product, uh, handheld product ideas with hand information, but without having to draw hands. So we propose sketching with hands a 3D sketching system that incorporates a hand tracking sensor. Let me show you how it works with a live demo. Okay. <laughs> sketching with the hands, sketching with hands is a 3D sketching system so I can draw 3D curves with this pen on this tablet. And let me explain our key ideas first. So with this limb motion hand tracking sensor, I can put on the table. OK, you can see, right? So with this limb motion sensor, I can pose the virtual hand in the first person point of view and freeze it by staying still. Right, uh, which, which pose might be better? Like, like this? Staying still, okay, my hands are shaking. Okay, it's good. Like this. Now I can look around, capture hand pose in 3D, and I can check the opposite side with a front mirror in a single view. And also, for symmetric products used by uh, both hands, I can set up a centimeter to check the both sides. So, also at any time, I can repose the hand by staying, staying still with same similar position here, like this. So I can constrain orientation only and translation together. 
So let me let me draw some graspable graspable products now. So posing first. How about this, right? Go. I can create a sketch plane by ticking across the hand skeleton, like this. Now, I can draw curves on it with some sections. I can erase the sketch plane. And also, I can create a sketch plane by ticking across this grip axis provided by the sensor, uh, like this. Now I can draw some sections, section here, okay. And also, by ticking across the existing curves, I can create a sketch plane. Uh, if the plane is not satisfactory, I can rotate. Right, so now, I'll draw nice size side view profile. Okay. I'm not sure what, what this will be. Okay. But let's try. Uh, I don't like that. I can erase curve. Also, I can trim curves. I don't like it. Okay. Now I got some side view profile. And also, to create a multiple section sketches. So section here. And also I can shift plane along its curve to create multiple section sketches. So are you guys following? Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, let's create some feature lines here. Hmm. And also at any time, let me let me try another hand pose. So reposing here by staying. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got funny hand. But here, I'm trying to re-grab the sketch, but it's very hard because there is no happy feedback. So, we provide no new visualization technique called responsible, responsive spandles. So let me show you it, it in real time. So when the, when the hand gets closer, there are some circles on the sketched curves and they become larger and they become green. When the hand collides with the sketch, they become red. So it's like I'm touching the flexible net wrapping the sketch. So here, I can easily, now I can e more easily capture the, uh, re-grab the sketch by trying to make, trying to make as many green spangles as I can, like this, okay? So you see, I'm grabbing this sketch again. But here, one more thing. S responsive spangle also help in sketching, so I can make hand transparent and here, you can see some collisions with orange, orange spangles. So I can erase curves to get rid of the spangles, red spangles, and re redraw curves to make green spangles, to make the sketch more fit the hand. So from now on, I'll finish my sketch for a while. So let's take a look. Um, maybe I need some buttons here, so thumb buttons, okay, okay, 
right? You can see some green spangles here. So this will be a button. I need some details here. Right? Okay. I don't need this. Okay. Trim, 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 trim. Uh, okay, let me finish. And this product will be used by both hands, so I can check. Hmm. Looks great. Yeah, I can see the scale of the products and usage of the products. So there's a button, and there's a grab grip. So, thank you. So. <laughs> Yeah. So can desi other designers sketch like this? So we invited 10 industrial design students for using our system. We provided a 10-minute demonstration and one-page cheat sheet with all the functions and interactions. They could learn our system without big problems and fully generate handheld product concepts. We got sketch outcomes, video recorded, and observed the entire process, and did post talk inter interviews. We will focus on sketch outcomes in this presentation. The observation and interviews were used to discuss the system workflow and usage patterns of each function. Please refer to our paper for details for that. And now, let me show you some of the sketch outcomes from the participants. A handheld noise detector. A camcorder, a dental curing light. You can see the teeth on the ground, right? Ro robotic exoskeleton brace, a drone controller, and a VR controller. So we showed our system and what the users could create, but our core contribution also lies on how we design this integrated system. So we analyze the literature in the fields of art and product design. First, we investigated how traditional artists draw hands by observation. They use their non-dominant hands to exercise various poses, mirrors to get opposite views of them, and cylinders to simplify hands. Next, in handheld product sketching process, designers use photos of hands as underlays and 3D models to get unlimited views but with a limited set of poses. Also, they render hands minimally to support product ideas. They often start with cylindrical axes for hand grips and develop both the hand and the product together. In general product design process, mirrors are used to complete symmetrical forms. They sketch dominant profiles for over shape and section sketches for detail. Also, they are familiar with marking ticks for perspective drawing. Also, during IG exploration, they freely draw strokes that are not organized and drawn over several times. Then we utilized all the lessons from the literature to decide each, functions, each function of our system. Different methods for using hand information are integrated into our freezing and melting hands function. Mirrors from both art and design fields are integrated into our front and center mirror. And we visualize our virtual hand not to interfere with the sketches, but enough to deliver its shape and structure, and also with a grip axis. Tick gestures on any linear elements create a sketch plane with our system. Dominant profiles and section sketches can be drawn easily, rotating and sketch easily by rotating and shifting sketch planes. 
To support early ID exploration, we allowed free hand stroke drawing and erasing without any further modification. To facilitate instant reposing and mutual development of both hand and the product, we provided responsive spangles and palm painting widget. Thus, all the lessons from the literature are mapped with the whole set of functions. So after we designed, implemented, and tested our system, we wanted to verify how the system achieved our research goals by analyzing the sketch outcomes. Firstly, we could find natural hand postures that reveal the scale and usage of products. The noise detector with a thumb joystick, the camcorder held by your right hand and controlled by a thumb, the dental light gripped by your right hand like a pen for delicate operation, the exoskeleton brace articulated by fingers, the drone controller with a display created by both hands, and the real controller with a thumb, joystick, and front buttons. And the user utilized their captured hand information to sketch products. As you can see, grip axes were well used to give major directionality of each product. Also, finger bones are used to draw section sketches in tight shapes. Also, in many sketches, the joystick and buttons are placed under the fingers. On the other hand, the power button of the dental light here is intentionally placed at a distance from the fingertips to prevent the user from pressing the button by mistake. So furthermore, we wanted to make sure that the scale and usages of the concepts are proper in the real world. So we created, created 3D models with a conventional CAD software using our 3D point curve beta, data and rapid prototype them. And they were really graspable. So to conclude, we first pointed out a critical problem in the product design process so we propose the 3D sketching system that incorporates a hand tracking sensor to help designers to sketch product concepts with hand information, but without having to draw hands. Then we use the lessons from the art and design literature to systematically design a new digital design system while considering high throughput interaction. Full de details and overview of all the functions and interactions are included in our paper. These are lists of our novel ideas only here. And please note that we integrated all the functions, interactions, and computer graphics and sensor technologies, which are either novel or existing, into a fully working system so that the user could easily capture desired hand poses, sketch products with the captured hand information without drawing hands, and continuously modify both hand poses and sketches. We are looking forward to seeing our work helps designers in the field and shows the vision of innovating real design practices by applying cutting edge technologies. Thank you. Okay, we've got time for one or two quick questions. Hi. Great work and great demo. I'm curious, um, in recent years, there are new input devices that you can directly sketch in the air and with the VR devices, yes. um, like um, the tilt brush. So I'm wondering what are your thoughts on moving this yes. beyond and for a designer? So, yeah, there are lots of devices for tracking hands and drawing in space, spatial space, drawing in space, but our, our main ob object is that to make the real application for real practitioners. So they usually using this display tablet and pen with bare hands. So wearing devices is not realistic and spatial drawing might be uh, causing fatigue. So, so we, we chose minimal insulation, like just one single main motion sensor on a table. Okay, maybe one more question while next presenter is getting ready. Thanks for the ah, no, I hear myself. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the great talk. I was wondering, a lot of products are being used in more like a dynamic context, right? You might grab them at once, but then you might move your hand around um, to kind of use a different functionality. Have you thought about 
more of integrating like a dynamic posing of the hand to explore yes. the functionality? Yes, that's a great question. And we plan it, that's our next step actually. So moving ranges of each finger and the ergonomic factors like hand pressure or like joint, joint ranges it might be uh, uh, important factors to consider as a designer. So we, we are planning to implement that functions to like testing virtually. So yeah, that's our next plan. Thank you. Hey, let's give our speaker a hand.